Hello YouTube, this is the Panda Photographer, and YouTube is at it again. This time, I don't know what is going on with what's going on in office or in house, but there is some inconsistencies that are going on within YouTube. So yesterday, I published and uploaded a video, a product review on a product, but I used the platform called Video Leap to actually record all to edit all of my content but also to use the fair use of audio tracks which I paid for $10 mind you so with that said everyone uh, I'm gonna show you some emails so this was at 2 on 1 this morning it says hi the panda photographer good news after reviewing your dispute Hawk the third party has decided to release their copyright claim on your video so Hawk has been doing this quite a bit to my videos. So since I have purchased Video Leap and I have contacted Video Leap, they have contacted me through email. They said that there are some inconsistencies with YouTube's algorithm that are not going to be fair, but you do have the rights to use the music. So YouTube needs to literally either get with the program or stop with the program because this is literally messing up creators revenue but not only just the revenue but you you also are not looking at the bigger picture when I send you the dispute YouTube but and then they send me this hi the panda photographer well actually this was first and then they send me this so this email was first. It says, Hi, the panel photographer. After reviewing your dispute, the, Hawk, the third party has decided that the copyright claim is still valid. That was at 1.24 a.m. But this email was at 2.01 a.m. So I'm confused, YouTube. Either you dispute it or you're giving me the rights to use it because it's not your rights to use it. It's video leap that I'm using it from because I paid a description on their platform so therefore that defeats why you send me these emails and it's confusing the creator themselves that is a charge of the account why are you sending two emails that are conflicting what you're doing but this is what they have done so it was monetized yesterday and now it's uneditable so yes, it's uneligible at this moment. I have to dispute all of them once again or appeal it. I shouldn't have to appeal it. This is why YouTube's system, the whole platform is broken. I shouldn't have to appeal a third party that already approved on multiple third parties from third, which is from Hawk. Mind you, Hawk has been targeting my videos or I would just say it's YouTube that's been targeting my videos and Hawk is giving it the approval for the fair use because Hawk, the third party provider for the audio tracks, saying, well, we have an agreement with Video Leap and you should literally ob buy that, YouTube. But no, YouTube is like, no, we're not going to buy it. So with that said, everyone, these are the problems that I have on the channel and this is why the channel doesn't really make revenue because YouTube keeps playing these stupid ironic games with the platform but with that said everyone so we can go in here we can just you can see that one out, one out of three is already appeal they want me to really this is how broken YouTube system is why can I not appeal for all of them at the same time Instead of going one by one and then writing the whole damn thing over and again and over again. Yes, they want me to write the explanation over and over and over again. This is why YouTube is not fair to creators. When they do, when they have a system like that in place, that is literally making us do more of the work and they're not doing their part of the work. So with that said, everyone, I think YouTube should literally change the dispute. Uh context of the uh, of the videos listed below I should think that they should literally have it I want to select to appeal all of them at one time not one by one because it's from the same party Dirt Hawk so with that said everyone this is why I'm telling you as an honest youtuber as an honest real photographer real life videographer YouTube platform 
was good. When I say was, past tense. Now it's just lies and deceptions and deceive and deniability with YouTube. So with that, tell everyone, I'm going through the problems. They demonetize a clean and awesome video. For what reasons? Because they can't get the act together. They can't cooperate with third parties. It, it seems like they can't cooperate with third party licensing. And you're a multi-billion dollar organ organization, YouTube. A million dollar organization. You're telling me you cannot get this together correctly? Which I tell everyone, this is my experience dealing with YouTube as a whole. I'm mean, recording this from my iPhone. I am using the Comic Con Live D, D V D Live 10 audio system. I'm actually in the park in Greenpoint recording this live in the park. So you should hear less noise than you was hearing before, and when we was somewhere else. But I wanted to say this to YouTube. I think it's unfair and unpractical that you target small creators under under 10,000. And you don't think we don't have a chance because you don't give us a chance. And when you do these kind of, I would say, <laughs> troublesome behavior <laughs> towards us as as creators, you 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 think you can you think that it's okay to demonetize my video? Mind you, guys, like every time I do a live stream, they de automatically demonetize it. Every single time, they literally automatic demonetize it. It's like they literally target the channel. That literally is biased behavior on YouTube's part. Every single live stream, you're going to demonetize it every single time? When it says the title says New York City's, uh, it says New York City's <coughs> live exploring blah, blah, blah. You demonetize it because it says New York City? Or what is it? YouTube? Please, give me and give my audience an explanation. Why are you targeting this channel? And not only that, please give me an explanation why you have to demonetize every single live stream that I actually do. You've been doing this for almost a year now. And no recourse for your, for your behavior. No actions has been taken. And then when I say something about your behavior, YouTube, you automatically want to flag another video of mine talking about you, yourself, on the platform. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair at all. You send me these bogus emails later in the morning saying that we decided to change our mind at 2 or 1 in the morning and says that, well, we, we have good news. We just released the, released the copyright. You didn't. You send me one email at 124, then you send me another one at 201, saying that you released it. So which one is going to be, YouTube? So either you want to play games, or I can make it worse for you by making more content that you don't like. Because that's my right to upload content as a film of speech, as a journalist, as a documentarian, as a photographer. You do not have the authority to tell me that I have to monetize and give you, or is it that I don't use super chats? This is why you you flagging or you ghosting my channel because I tell my audience not to ever support the super chats because thirty percent is a little bit high for what 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 is my audience paying for? If they want to support my work, they can go directly to my website. They don't need your system to pay or to give back to a community. They can use other entities. I remember at the time YouTube did not want. PayPal links or any other links involved in the descriptions below. I remember the time when you guys didn't want that because you wanted all the revenue to go to YouTube. And that wasn't fair to a lot of creators. And a lot of creators stood up for that. So, with that said everyone, this has been a really awkward and bad experience dealing with YouTube. For the past year, YouTube has been doing demonetization to every single video doesn't matter if it's an upload or a live stream or a short doesn't matter they're gonna demonetize it it's bias it's biased behavior I think it's unprofessional and I think Susan needs to step down as CEO of YouTube simple as that with that said everyone I'm the pen photographer and I've been dealing with this for years with YouTube this is why I tell you guys please subscribe like and share if you want to support the channel, there are links to products that 
because I am affiliated with also other websites that sell these photography products, these audio products. So with that said, everyone, there are also other links to financial links, like PayPal, Cash App, Rimbo. With that said, everyone, this is why I don't trust YouTube as of 2022. With that said, you guys have a good one. See ya.